sassy, 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 sassy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We get asked all the time, I'm eating in a calorie deficit, I'm really hungry, is this normal? What do I do, what can I eat, can I eat? Guess what, when you're in a calorie deficit, it's normal to be hungry because you're eating less than you're used to. And today, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to trick your belly to make it feel more full and satisfied in a calorie deficit. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I was riding a horse there. pounds and kept it off for over five years and in the beginning when I was eating in a caloric deficit I was starving all the time I realized I was choosing foods that weren't keeping me as full I was choosing nuts that were high in calories and I was maybe feeling satisfied but I was always starving after they didn't fill me up enough and I'm so a big guy I'd grow I'd have like a snack a handful of peanut, what did we do, like a quarter cup? A quarter cup. And it was and like 300 calories plus. Yeah, you eat it and then you're still looking for more food. So today I'm gonna tell you all the tips and tricks I learned along the way to fix my diet so that now I feel full and satisfied. It's about the types of chew, the types of chews. It's about the types of foods you're choosing in a caloric deficit that matters. And this is what we discovered. Low calorie dense foods like my doctor coach Greg shares as well. That means choose foods that are low in calories but you get a lot of because they'll fill you up and trick your belly into thinking it ate a lot of food. And me and Nicole like to eat. And if you don't believe us, go back and check one of our uh, cheat day videos out. We oh, can yeah. eat. <laughs> we can eat. And that never changed. Just because we lost weight or got a little bit fitter, a little bit healthier, it doesn't mean we still don't like to fill our bellies up. We choose foods that we love, but we choose low calorie foods that are going to fill us up. So the first thing we learned about was choose foods that are higher in fiber because they're slower digesting and they make you feel fuller longer. And what we discovered are things like berries. Berries are super low in calories. For a cup of strawberries, it's like 50 calories. And they're high in fiber, and berries are lower in sugar too, if you're watching your sugar. But they, you can get, you get a ton of berries for a little calories. It makes you feel full. The same with leafy greens and spinach. You can have an entire bowl full for very few calories and feel very full and satisfied after. One of the things that we really loved was sugar-free, fat-free pudding. This entire box is like less than 100 calories. And if you mix it with non-dairy milk, two cups of non-dairy milk, oh, that's the French side. <laughs> two cups of this is 50 calories. So for 150 calories, you get a massive bowl of pudding that you probably won't even be able to finish. So 350 calories of nuts, this size, or a massive bowl of fat-free, sugar-free pudding that you can barely finish. So that's what we started doing, choosing foods like that, that filled up our belly, and we didn't want to eat anymore because and we were full and satisfied. One of the problems back in the day when we were first starting to lose weight is me and Nicole believed in the propaganda against fructose and fruit and carbohydrates. Yeah. Not many people eat cups and cups of strawberries. Not many people can overeat on something like strawberries, for example. Even like, veggies and stuff you can only eat so much and one of the things that we eat a lot of are wraps these are low calorie low carb wraps this is a joseph's lavash wrap this whole thing is 120 calories and it's massive and we know it's more than that guys so let's not get stuck on the calories we get comments every single video do you know this has more than that did you know what the label says it's actually more do you know the serving size 
We know. Yes. We're trying to reach a large amount of people and not get stuck on the fine details. It's yeah. better than you were eating before. The exactly. lavash bread is better than the whole Little Caesars pizza that you used to eat before. Nothing is accurate. That's okay. What it is, is you're eating one wrap. It's in a portion. We're worrying about, this is just an estimate. We want to eat less than we were eating before. That's what matters. This wrap it might not necessarily be 120 calories. That's what it says on the package. That's what I go by. This thing filled with spinach and lean protein, I can barely eat the whole thing. And I eat this every day for lunch and I'm left feeling full and satisfied. Not only does it make me feel better, look better, I'm not hungry. I'm not always looking for food. I love what I'm eating. And then there's also oatmeal. Oatmeal is amazing because it doubles and triples in size when you cook it with liquid. And it's versatile. You can add protein powder. You can add powdered peanut butter or zero calorie syrup to it to make it taste really good. Now I'm a big guy. I'm 250 pounds, six feet tall. When I have, I could have, I did have a half a cup of oatmeal, a scoop of whey isolate protein powder. I'd put berries in it um, and trust me, your belly's full and it yeah. lasts a long time. Oatmeal, like they used to say back in the day, sticks to your ribs. It really does. And here's the thing, a lot of people right now, higher fat and higher protein is popular. But our pizza, if you watch one of our latest videos and you see us making low calorie pizza for dinner, that pizza is 350 to 380 calories, depending on what kind of veggies and protein we put on it. A handful of nuts is 350 calories. An entire pizza made on this bread that leaves us full and satisfied for the same amount of calories. This is where people start making the mistakes. I'm always hungry, I don't know what to do. Well, it's probably the types of foods you're choosing. If you're choosing higher fat foods, you get way less for the same and amount of calories the, or more. The other problem with fat is it's not that satiating. It's Fiber not. is. Yep. And that's why everything that you see here contains, or most of the things, probably not the pudding, but everything else contains a lot of fiber. And the other thing, we have used this from the very beginning of our journey. Smart Pop Popcorn, the 95% fat free. Why? Because popcorn if you choose the right one, is low in fat and you get a ton of it. I eat the whole bag of Smart Pop and it's like 200 calories and I feel like the bowl is never ending. I get a huge amount and I feel so satisfied after. I don't need anything else. And if you can't get the Smart Pop guys, like we always say, just buy plain old corn kernels. Yep, an air popper and pop it. Some people even say you can pop it in the microwave in like a, a paper bag, I yeah, think I've like, heard. like a lunch bag. Yeah, let us know how to do that down below in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. And so, the other, this is the other thing. We have shown you multiple recipes on YouTube of our low calorie ice cream that we've been making. And we always get very similar comments in the comment section. Nicole, I made the ice cream, but I had to cut it in half. My belly hurts, it's too much for my belly. It's too big of a serving. That's because it starts out being like this. That, and there's it a reason. Yeah, we did that on purpose. It triples in size. It makes a massive bowl. Go check out the recipes or look on Instagram in our story because we post it there and you will see how big the bowl is. And that is one serving and it's like 300 and something calories for a whole bowl depending on what we top it with. And I have to slow down and take breaks to finish the whole thing. But a lot of people are like, oh, I can't eat it. It's too much. It's too much. But guess what? You can then go and eat three or four donuts or four or five chocolate bars or, or a bag of chips. Let's take something me and Nicole love, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, right? Yes. One tub, like the normal tub, that pint of Ben and Jerry's could be, depending on the flavor, anywhere from 1,200 to like 1,800 calories. Mm -hmm. Now, we're eating those easily, downing that. Yeah. Our ice cream's 300 for a bowl that's bigger than Nicole's head. And you can barely finish it. You can barely thing. finish it. 
But you guys are eating multiple Ben and Jerry's not complaining about that. No, or like ton, yeah, you're eating like three or four, maybe a whole slices of pizza or a whole pizza, and then you're saying, oh, I can't eat this big bowl of ice cream. It's, it's funny because I made the same excuses and so did Kyle when we were losing weight. When something was like, junk food we could just shove it down mindlessly not be present we would just be eating it and not even realize how much we consumed and we'd still want more after because it never satisfied us we could eat tons of cookies tons of ben and jerry's and not even realize how much we consumed a bowl of our low calorie ice cream you have to eat it present because it starts filling you up immediately. And then you're like, wow, this tastes good and it's filling. And we're not saying you have to eat the whole thing. We're saying sometimes the stories you tell yourself and the foods you choose are what's causing you to not lose weight or be stuck or always be hungry. And guys, don't worry, we don't make gross food. Our pizza no. and ice cream, it tastes like junk food, but you don't get all the calories with it. It's beeping good. I got told not to beep, so I beeped. <laughs> <laughs> we, we made versions of blizzards from Dairy Queen, pumpkin pie, and Oreo, and they taste so similar. We make amazing food, and why do we do that? Because we needed something that we could stick to. I was 275 pounds, and Kyle was 375 pounds. We needed to find something that we liked. So, if you want stuff made really easy, we have two weight loss guides with the exact portions and meals that we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. Yeah, and if, if calories are overwhelming, counting and all that stuff, we didn't count calories in the beginning. We just did simple portion control. Pick up the two weight loss guides. In the links. They're right there. Down below, or watch these two videos that probably aren't there yet for more free and real honest information. Choose the foods that fill up your belly and love life and do this. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you, what is that? Love you guys, coming at you, honest and real, baby. Beeping all day. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Bye guys. See you guys. Love you. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.